Measuring static pressure on a commercial system involves taking two separate readings to ensure a proper amount of air return and air outputs are at levels that provide indoor comfort and air quality. To properly measure the static pressure on a rooftop unit, you will need the following items. An electric drill with a 3 8 inch metal piercing drill bit, 3 8 inch plugs or an alternative that will cover sheet metal holes while meeting code requirements, and a digital or analog manometer with the appropriate pressure tips and tubes per meter requirements. First, you will need to locate the best place to drill your test holes on the supply side, which will be between the supply outlet and the return inlet to the unit. For a system with duct work, your return air reading would be just beyond the unit from the return air vent, and the supply air would be measured in the vent just past the main duct run. For a system with ceiling diffusers, the return air would be measured just before reaching the rooftop unit, while the supply air would be measured just short of the diffuser. Start by drilling your two 3 8 inch test holes with the metal piercing drill bit. If you are drilling into the unit housing, use a sheath to avoid damaging the coil. If there is insulation along the wall of the sheet metal, be sure your meter is able to go through the liner so you get a good reading once you have attached the brass bibs. With the manometer assembled, making sure the hose is attached to the low pressure port on the gauge, insert the static pressure tip into the return air hole you drilled between the filter and the furnace. Make sure the other hole is plugged before taking your low pressure measurement. After taking a measurement, place the 3 8 inch plug or other code approved patch to cover up the hole. Next, move the hose onto the manometer and the high pressure port on the gauge. Place the static pressure probe into the hole leading out of the unit and measure the high pressure reading on the manometer. After completing the measurement, place the 3 8 inch plug back into the hole. At this point, both measurements have been taken and the two holes that were drilled to take the reading should be patched. Now that you have your two measurements, you can easily determine the static pressure for the system. Simply add the two numbers together while ignoring whether the numbers were positive or negative numbers and compare the number to the blower charts found in the installation manual. If the measurement is not in line with what's noted in the installation manual, corrective measures could include adjusting the blower speeds or simply replacing filters in the system. Ductwork may also be an issue if there is a blockage in a line or a damper is closed. If you have additional questions, please contact the Lennox Commercial Technical Support Line at 1-800-4-LENNOX.